Welcome to another original edition of InfoWars Nightly News. It is the 27th day of March 2012 on this Tuesday night edition. I'm Alex Jones. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, coming up, incredible propaganda by the music sensation Katy Perry as she shills for the military industrial complex. This even got the mainstream media calling it propaganda because it's so naked and over the top ridiculous. That's coming up. And then an in depth investigative report, man on the street with Patrick Henningsen, Darren McBreen, John Bound, and our team from last week at the South by Southwest event, where they went out and uh, talked to the public to investigate and discover if they were buying into the 2012 hype. And I'm encouraged to tell you and give you a hint, most people are not buying into the hype. The globalist propaganda is starting to wear thin. That report, is coming up. But first, let's get into some of the news. A lot of it's stuff that's being covered in the mainstream. A lot of it isn't. We're here to focus on all of it as we defend liberty and resist tyranny. Always teleprompter free. The views you see here, the ideas are mine and my crew's original research and analysis and commentary. News, the First Amendment at its best. That was the motto of my show. 17 years ago on talk radio for a year or two was the First Amendment at its best. Okay, continuing uh, into the news here. Here's a headline out of Natural News. Insane Michigan government announces plan to destroy ranch livestock based on hair color and arrest hundreds of ranchers as felons. Now, because we have an old family ranch in East Texas, I understand this problem clearly all over the country and all over North America for that matter, there is an epidemic problem taking place with feral hogs. But normal breeds of domesticated pigs get out, they interbreed, and in just a matter of years, they begin to grow long hair, tusk, because they're rooting naturally to uh, eat insects and other things uh, that are in the ground, in the soil. So what does government do in Michigan? Instead of saying open season, kill these things, encouraging citizens to shoot them when they see them, because I've actually uh, talked about shooting feral hogs before and gotten phone calls and seen emails saying, how dare you shoot animals out of season? That's illegal. There is no season on them. They're an invasive species like fire ants. The answer is get citizens to start killing them. Like when wolves were out of control, you know, killing people and livestock, folks, cut their numbers back. In fact, cut them back too much to where they're almost extinct in many areas. The point is, not extinct across the country or the world, but you know, in certain areas that they were, they're no longer in those ranges to be technical. Instead, the Michigan uh, has come out with new regulations w with their Bureau of Land Management saying that they're gonna come out with bureaucrats onto your pig farms especially the uh, open air free range area where it's large areas. We, we had this on our ranch uh, back in the 50s during a big drought they had. Couldn't keep cattle then, so they went to uh, free range hogs. And all it is is you have uh, the pig wire, pig fence around an area, and then the pigs basically live in that area, and then you also bring them slop uh, and food and things like that. Or you go to the local moonshiner and get them to give you the uh, leftovers of their uh, sour mash that they're producing, and you feed that to the pigs. So I know all about this. And they're saying they're gonna give them felony charges, they're gonna arrest them if there's any black hair or red hair on the pigs. Now, I was just at the Texas uh, Austin Livestock Radio Show a week and a half ago with my children. We go every year, they like to look at the pigs and cows and sheep. I mean, most of the breeds of pig they had there had black hair or red hair on them. In fact, I marveled at one breed of pig, a big old fat red one I thought was you know, cute and the kids thought was cute. That would be illegal under this rule. I mean, it's so wide that they're saying that according to, to what they think, if it looks like you're keeping feral hogs, which are genetically identical to you know, the regular domesticated pig, that they're gonna kill them on the spot, your livestock that you're selling, and that then they're gonna arrest you. I mean, it's all right here uh, in the um, article. It, it is just bizarro. When I drive the Texas highways, I know you see it in your areas of the country, routinely now, I don't see deer on the sides of the roads. I see feral pigs. Why don't they just tell the police when they see them to start shooting them? Oh no, that's terrible. 
If you're worried about this invasive species and they are destructive, don't create a crazy ham-fisted... In fact, let's get this farmer on that Adams was talking to in the article about it. Because all this is doing is giving government under Agenda 21 a way to harass small farmers and ranchers. Kind of like the animal ID, premises ID that was passed uh, federally as a regulation being in, uh, implemented at the state level. They come in and say, you got to have a $10 tag per chicken. But a chicken you can't sell for $10 on average. But big agra, Tyson, has it written where they're exempt. So they got a million chickens at some of their facilities. They can have one tag per building for the chickens. But you have to have a tag for each chicken, which basically bankrupts you. So this is all written by big agra, and that's the story behind the story, the rest of the news, to shut down all of these free-range uh, pig farms. And again, they're fenced in. It, it, it would be a reasonable regulation uh, to say, hey, you've got to make sure that your fences are properly containing them. But these wild pig populations have gotten big just from pigs you know, escaping for the last 200 years. And because humans aren't controlling them, that's why this is happening. But again, they are taking a complex issue and basically uh, just boiling it down and saying, we're now going to come arrest you, give you felony charges and do this. If your pigs look like they're wild, even if they're in pens. Just amazing. In fact, guys, do this. Search this term right now for folks. Uh, search the term breeds of domesticated pig and then click Google images and you will see breeds from England, the United States, from Europe, from Asia, most of them have hair that you can see. Even the pink ones have short white hair. Uh, there's several varieties that are pink. But there are hundreds of breeds and subbreeds that have black hair. There's one right there that have red hair. Uh, you, you can see that classic domesticated pink pig has hair. See that piglet has hair. Now there is a domesticated pig that's gone wild. But that is nevertheless not a wild boar or a Russian boar, which is what pigs are bred out of to begin with. Uh, look at those guys. Now they're considering that. Uh, see those? That, that's what the feral hogs in East Texas look just like that. But that, th that is the exact same genetics as the pink pigs above. Now they're saying they're gonna kill those. All right. I always tend to go into great detail on any subject because uh, complex issues need complex uh, descriptions. But this, this is a giant new form of oppression and tyranny in our society and needs to be spoken out against. Now this happens more and more often here on the nightly news where a piece of propaganda deployed against the American people is so over the top, I don't have words to describe it. It is so cartoonish that it's an example of propaganda that someone would produce to expose ridiculous propaganda. It's so over the top that even AOL News and many other uh, publications had to say, this is propaganda. In fact, you can see it right there. Uh, Katy Perry, part of me, pop star's military-inspired video called Propaganda. No kidding. This is the most utterly transparent garbage I've ever seen. And when you see movies like The Battle of L.A., the whole thing is a Marine Corps recruiting ad where we're the good guys fighting space aliens because we've run out of brown people to kill. And again, I'm not bashing the Marines themselves, but the endless propaganda that this empire pushes, that our captured country by Goldman Sachs is pushing, the Marines aren't ours anymore. They belong to the globalists. They're being used to do that. And there's a big push through Private Lynch, remember, uh, it turned out she really didn't kill all those Iraqis. She cowered in fear, but they ordered her to go along with the lie to try to recruit women as the heroes. We see it in all the movies, like Prometheus coming out, the, the hero's a woman, and in the, the 79 Alien movies, she's the hero, and G.I. Jane, and, and I mean, every movie I go see now, the women are the heroes, the men are metrosexual idiots. This is what we're being sold. And it's not being done to empower women. I'm going to explain this in a moment. 
But before we do that, I want to show you some excerpts of the video. You can go online and just type in Katy Perry Marine commercial. And her boyfriend is cheating on her. So she shows him she shaves her head and joins the Marines. And then she gets there and he sends her a letter asking her back. But she says no and tears it up and puts on her war paint with her M16 and is just dominating everybody. She's an incredible warrior. She's got the uh, all blue, uh, UNized American flag. Again, she goes in and shows him though. She goes to the recruiter. Oh, look at that bumper sticker. All women are created equal. Then some become Marines. I, I, I mean, this is pure propaganda. So she cuts her hair off. She goes, she joins it. This is nothing but a disgusting recruitment ad for women. You have no future, you know, you're desperate. Well, join us, uh, we'll, we'll show you how to be a Marine because they're getting everybody ready for women on the front line. That's what this is all about. And she gets tough with the other ladies. Soon she'll be like Janet Napolitano or Elena Kagan or Janet Reno. She's got the Janet Reno haircut now. She's gonna you know, be able to hang out, I guess, with Kagan. And it's just incredibly exciting that she gets the letter uh, saying that, that he's sorry and he loves her, but she doesn't buy it. She tears it up. And now she's out there, you know, going through all the training and now she's patrolling some country. Now she's an incredible warrior. Now she's in the water choking some guy. I mean, this is all just the, the, the most ridiculous garbage the world could ever see. Well, let me give a little news flash. Uh, to Katy Perry and, and everybody else. Your young daughter who admires 